Yo, what is up my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy JC Desmond. Welcome to Love Over Narcissism. And today I wanted to talk about a uh, topic. Um, the narcissist is not stronger than the empath. So please take the time to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about this. Tell your family about this. Tell everybody about this. Do all the necessary things to support a YouTube channel as it will greatly help me out and I greatly appreciate it. So let's get right into it. Narcissists are, by all accounts, fake people. They're fake. They're phony. They put on a, um, a false persona to trick you into being involved with them. And they do this because they don't truly believe in themselves. They know that they are worthless. And they know that if they show you who they truly are, you will not get involved with these individuals. So they trick, they gaslight, they lie, they cheat. All they do is cut corners and do things under the table, and sneaky things to get ahead in life. They do this because they don't actually have the intestinal fortitude to get up and work on themselves. They don't have what it takes to get up and actually develop the discipline to try to make it ahead in life or to get anything they have to lie and get people to feel bad for them so that people can do things for them. Then when they uh, get you involved with them, in the beginning they show you all this love and affection and everything. And then, you know, the mask starts to fall. As we all know the process, the love bomb, the devaluation, the discard, their mask starts to fall. When their mask starts to fall, they start to, you know, these people know full well that you can see what's going on with them. And they see that once you're hip to the games, they start to doubt themselves. They start to doubt the relationship. And so once that devaluation phase ends, they discard now, the reason why they discard, there's a couple of reasons. Um, because they were never truly strong enough to hold on to the relationship. Um, they are grooming another source of supply. And also, from the beginning, they knew that this was destined to end. They knew from the beginning they, that this was destined to... to um, to be over and they can't deal with the possible rejection they can't deal with you seeing them for what they are and leaving them that's the reason why they would rather leave you first this will give them the kind of a, a boost of power that says well, I was strong enough to leave. And my ex used to say this. She goes, you know, I'm strong enough to leave a relationship that doesn't uh, benefit me. And then they will go on the smear campaign and everything. And the reason why they do all of this, all of this, is because they're scared. Okay? They're not stronger than you are. The reason why the cycle of abuse keeps going on forever and forever is because they are too scared to change. Why are they too scared to change? Because they are afraid of looking at themselves and realizing that they are not the perfect person that they are trying to convince themselves that they are. They know that they have flaws, but they don't want to deal with it. They never change because they are, they lack the courage to see themselves. And this is the difference between the narcissist and the empath. 
See, I would consider myself an empath. And once my ex and I have split up, and uh, once she discarded me, I went no contact, I went limited contact because I didn't quite understand what was going on even though I started studying up on narcissism. And I started uh, going no contact because I kind of wanted to vent the emotions out of my system and move on. But I still thought that, you know, she, I still thought that she was a normal, sane person, that she just had some issues. But I, I kind of knew what was going on. And the final, the, the week that my, everything made sense was this, the week that, a bunch of people started hitting me up and, I, and I'm talking about like over 20 people who knew of who knows of my ex and knew of her past and what she has done have hit me up to, to give me detailed stories about what she has done to people and then finally my uh, a good friend of mine shout out to Andy had uh, called me up and basically said to me do not allow this person to get to you and I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, brother, you're on a long list. This person is abusive. She's done the exact same thing to you that she did to everybody else. She got engaged to other men and she cut them off. She has used many men. She has slept around. She has cheated and she has lied. Now, at this time, this was hard for me to grasp. And it's not because I missed the narcissist because we had been broken up for maybe about, be for a little over a month. But what bothered me is the fact that I've been duped and that I've been, I feel like I've been tricked and violated. And so for the next few weeks, I had to deal with these thoughts and I had to deal with trying to come to grips with the fact that the person I was dealing with was... Uh, basically a fraud a total fraud and the more and more I spoke with my friend and the more and more I spoke with people who were you know who were my support system shout out to Crystal uh, shout out to Andy um, shout out to Mari shout out to um, Rosa <laughs> um, I'm giving you guys a shout out these are my friends shout out to uh, other people who, who have heard me you know like I I, I had to get this out of my system and the more and more I was talking to people the more I started coming to grips with what was going on and I said wow you know and and I accepted it and I realized that the person I dealt with was a total fake and a fraud that the person had really nothing going for for her she had nothing going for her life um she broke down at every sign of of stress she was unhappy you know and then I started putting things together like, wow, I've been dealing with a person who is weak. And even though I felt down, I started noticing that a lot of the cognitive dissonance, a lot of the, um, the anger and a lot of the, you know, and I've, and I've, I, I was dealing with anger for a while. I mean, like you, God only knows the, the kind of revenge I wanted on this person for tricking me. And not because I missed her, because I totally did not miss her. I didn't even want her back in my life. I, I actually thought she was a disgusting human being. But I noticed that all these feelings started changing. And I started empowering myself. And that's the reason why I created this channel. And so that I can help you guys empower yourselves. And this is where my strength started coming out. The power that I have to see what was done wrong to me. And try to flip it into something positive so that I can try to help other people and pay it forward for what my friends and family have done to help me in this time. So while I'm doing this, the narcissist is going back to her old ways. And she's back on social media playing the victim role. And she's probably manipulating some other poor guy who I absolutely feel terrible for because whoever new person is ensnared with this beast, they're going to be in for it because these people know no other way. 
they continue to do this because they don't know any other way. And what I want you folks to realize is that you are so much more powerful than these low bottom feeding creatures. You are much stronger than them because you can get better, you can move forward, you can learn, you can change, and they cannot. But they will always try to portray that they are strong, okay? They will always try to portray that they are stronger than you, that they are smarter than you, they are better than you, that they have moved on from you. These people never move on. I mean, they move on in fact that they'll they'll go into another, um, you know, relationship or they'll find another source of supply but they never stop thinking about the supply that left they'll never stop thinking about the supply that rejected them while you will come to grips with the relationship and how it ended you will come to grips with this and if you put in the work you have the ability to change grow and become more powerful you are way stronger than your narcissist you are way more powerful than they are they are weak if you are an empath by default you are more powerful than these cookie cutter human beings so what i want you to realize the differences right narcissists can't take ridicule it puts them into a a, a, a state of narcissistic injury they can't take rejection. They can't take being ignored. Um, if you if you criticize them, it hurts them. So but these people are terribly hurt by the smallest things. That's the difference between them and us. They'll portray an image like they're strong, but they're really not. They're very fragile. Their egos are fragile. They are five-year-olds. And all they're really doing is, is getting a tantrum whenever they get hurt. You know, they might try to seek revenge or do something to try to get everything they do shows their weakness. So if you leave a relationship and you move forward and say you go out on a date and if your ex narc spots you and let's say you're on a date and you decide to get, oh, let me use the bathroom for a second. Your ex narc will go up to your current date and try to smear your name. That's weakness. Like if a person is so butthurt and can't get over the fact that you left them, that they have to sabotage what you're doing next, that shows weakness. You have the ability to move on and get over it. And you will. That's your power. I've said this before. I'm just focusing more on it on this video, that you have that power. They don't have it. They're weak. They're not stronger than you. You can take criticism. You can take a little bit of teasing. You know, I'm pretty sure... You know, a lot of my empathic friends are sarcastic as hell. That they can joke on each other. I grew up with friends that are all super empathic, but are all incredibly sarcastic and roast the hell out of me all the time. And you know what? It's fun and it's funny. It's a great time. Um, if I do something wrong, I could come to grip. I could come to grips with that. People will tell me, "Hey, man, you messed up," and I can say, "You know what? As a man, I I uh, I admit to it. I messed up." And more than anything, you can change. We all can change if we really want to. And I'm talking about empaths because narcissists will never be able to do that. And they know this. They know this and they hate you for it. Hatred is a sign of weakness. Jealousy is a sign of weakness. You know? All these things that the narcissists possess, it's all based on their weakness. They are not all powerful. They are not strong. They are incredibly weak and very fragile human beings. And they hate you because you are stronger than they are. Understand your strength. Recognize it. Flaunt your strength. Show them that they aren't worth anything to you. Show them that they are unworthy of your presence. Show them that no matter what they have done to you, you will move on. You will forget about them. And you will live a much better, exciting, and loving, and uh, fulfilling life than when you were with them. 
let them have it. When you are on social media, be happy on social media. Fake it till you make it if you have to, but do your best to make it, okay? You don't fake it just so that you can get that supply from them, you know what I mean? You fake it until you make it. And once you make it, you keep thriving, you keep surviving, you keep pushing, you keep kicking ass, right? Show them that you're much stronger than them. Because the moment you, the moment you went no contact right there, you already gave them that knockout blow, okay? You already gave them that punch that, that hurts them bad. Now show them that the post-discard and the post-narcissistic era is going to be even better than ever. Show them that now that you are gone and that they are no longer part of your life, that your life is going to be worth so much more as in terms of your experiences, new things that you're going to try out, the new people you're going to meet. Show them. But more importantly, show yourself. Okay? Do this for yourself. So when I say show them, really, it's not important to show them. You don't need their, their approval. But you know what? It's nice to kick them when they're down a little bit. Just remember, ultimately, you are powerful. They are weak. You will move on and they will stay in the same place for the rest of their lives. As always, love yourself. Respect yourself. Love over narcissism. I'll talk to you guys soon.